Hi everyone, welcome to our next Lost Items um, video. <laughs> Mind Goes Blank from Rooms of Wonder by Johanna Basford. And we have this um, little, um, I think it's the necklace with a pendant to do today. Um, I'm thinking a gemstone setting. So let's get cracking. The first thing I'm going to do is the chain. Now it's a little tricky, I'm going to try my best. Um, I think I am going to use number eight <laughs> from my Stedler Design Journey pencils. This is the grey and I'm going to do each of these circular pieces as if they are um, a circle of silver. Now I will come back at the end and put some white pen on these to make them look shiny. It's easier than trying to leave a little white mark because they're so small. I can use my small white pen, hopefully, if it decides to behave. Problem is, the smaller the nib of your gel pen, the more it gets blocked up. So you have to be patient, not always very patient. <laughs> right, there are all those little bits. And I'm thinking the ones around here we could either do as stones or as silver and I think they'll look nicer as little gemstones so I'm just going to do this piece in silver so dark here and fade to there and then make sure you leave some white um, then we can do the rest in colour which I think will be more fun now we could do both the same colour but I think it might be um, better to do them in different colours, but I'm just trying to decide quite what. I am thinking a very opulent um, violet might be rather nice. Um, this is number six for the outside. Again, I'm just going to really put them in quite dark. Ideally, you would want it darker on the very outside than in the middle because they're so small. It's very unlikely that you'll be able to get that if you can. Well done. But um, I'm just getting a nice amount of colour down. And I will draw some shine on those at the end. Now our main gemstone, I thought we could have a very dark pink. Might be fun. The 23 is actually called Bordeaux. And it's a rather pretty dark pinky red and I think that'll work well with this violet so I want it very intense around the edge lots of layers and then less towards the middle I'm trying not to colour in the that section that those crescents which are our shine so I'm just going to work that a little bit more just put some more colour down. Now for me it looks quite pretty but it doesn't look dark enough around this edge. I'm actually going to put a little bit of black in there just to sort of give it a bit more depth around the very edge. I think there would be some shadow just on that edge, just where the line is really. I'm not sure it's going down. I've probably burnished it a bit too much already. I'm going to go back over with this um, 23. Um, There we go. Now we need to do our label. Um, I think I'm going to use the violet um, just because I can use it quite lightly and it will look a little bit different to the colour of the um, gemstones. I've just drawn on the book in the wrong place. So I'm trying to press a little bit more gently, use the pencil on its side to get 
and sort out. I've kept the blind shut and I know it makes the picture look a little bit dark even though I've got a light on and the camera's supposed to adjust. But the sun's gone in and it's been raining so but I know that if I open the blind the sun will come out, won't it? <laughs> so I haven't. I'm just going to try and make this look a little bit tidier. I think it's a bit messy. So if you just layer over the bits that are a bit lighter, it can make it look tidier. There we go. I'm going to use a white pen just to finish, as I said. Um, I'm trying to look for my number five. It's right at the bottom of my pencil case. There we go. Number five. And we remember we're going to do all of the little um, circles. It's going to take a little bit of time. Um, let's try scribbling first. Come on. I can't see whether it's actually doing anything, unfortunately. I can. I think it is. I'm trying to do them all on the left then it will look like the light is coming from that direction. Now on these it's a bit tricky because um, I've got some marks already here. So I think I'm just going to keep to the outside edge like that. Now with these marks I'd quite like to, I really can't see that white at all, particularly the bit on the purple. So I'm going to get a slightly thicker pen, the 08. Redo those in the hope that you'll be able to see them. And as I say, I'm going to just keep the mark on the outside because it looks quite even here. Now, I like to black it. To white out the black line and there's a shine line drawn in. I don't really like it being done for me. I like to do it where I want it. I think that's okay. It just looks a bit thicker than I would do it. But there we go. There is our necklace. I can't get the lid on my pen. There we go. <laughs> you couldn't see that but I've got white pen all over my finger now. <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching um we've got a missing boot so if you if you're missing one then this might be yours <laughs> that's for tomorrow so pop in tomorrow and uh enjoy the madness but for now thank you so much have a lovely day and happy coloring <laughs>